Finally, we're just going to take a nice big reach to the side and just pivoting through that one foot and then squatting down and then reaching to the other side. So let's aim for uh, 10 repetitions on that one. So we got one, big lift up there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more big squeeze and 10. Okay, so let's bring that right into a stationary lunge. So we're gonna bring the right leg back and then bringing the arms up and squeezing the glute on the right side as you lift those arms. So we'll aim for 10 repetitions on that side. That four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Okay, now change feet. So bring the left leg back, squeeze the, the glute, and then we'll reach across the body here, rotating through the core, stretching it out. It's a nice big reach. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. All right, so bring everything back to center. And then we're going to bring the feet nice and wide. Let's fold forward and bend into the right knee and then walk your palms over to the left side. And then again, back over to the right. So moving side to side. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. And then we'll bring it to the center and then walk your feet in round your back as you come up. Okay, so standing up nice and tall, let's hug those knees in to the chest, focusing on the balance, the stability. We're just aiming for 10 repetitions on that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Okay, so nice and tall, plant the right foot. Let's get the left one swinging forward and back. So nice big lift up in front. Try to focus on that balance. And of course, get those arms in there as well. Two birds with one stone. And don't forget to breathe. Don't hold the breath. Okay, and then cross it over and then bring the arms in front, windshield wiper the arms, side to side. So a few more here, one, two, and three. Okay, so change it over to the other side, really plant that left foot, swinging it forward and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then cross it over using those windshield wiper arms. Big lift to the side, five, six, seven, eight, looking good, nine, and 10. All right, let's do some elbow rotations. Let's get those arms in there a little bit more. And then in the other direction, rotating through those elbows. Good. All right, and then some open and close here across the chest. The nice stretches there. Okay. Last one. All right, okay, so just grab a quick drink, rest up. We're gonna move right into our cardio warm up. So if you need a little bit more uh, warming up, start with the, uh, the low impact movements and then gradually move into your high impact movements. So the first exercise we're gonna do today is gonna be the, the football shuffle side to side. Now just remember with your football shuffles, you can go faster to make it more intense and just slower to make it less intense. Okay, so 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, we'll go for eight exercises. All right, so let's get ready here. Starting in four, three, two, one. Okay, let's uh, nice and fast here. 
Okay, so moving those feet side to side. Remember to breathe. Don't hold the breath. Inhale, exhale. All right, keep it going. <clears throat> Looking good, guys. All right. So eight seconds. Then we'll do some butt kicks next. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so we've got the low impact butt kick side to side. And then we've got the high impact butt kick coming up. So let's get ready. All right, here we go. Let's pound it out nice and strong. So move, move, move. Good. Excellent. Nice work, guys. Keep it up. All right. Good. All right, 15 seconds. Keep it going. Looking good. Nice work, guys. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so we got jumping jacks coming up next. Here's your high impact. And then we've got your, your low impact. So get ready. Here we go. Nice and strong. Pump it out. All right, good job. All right, nice work. Let's keep it going. Good. Okay, 14 seconds. Then we're gonna bring it into regular squats or jumping squats. So your choice or a little bit of both. So five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we have regular squats up and down or you can add in some of those jump squats. Okay, just remember to land softly in the knees. Get ready, here we go, pump it out nice and strong. Good, nice, good, all right. Good job, guys. Okay, four sets left coming up after this. We're almost at that halfway mark. Good work, nice. 13 seconds, keep it going. Almost there now. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's bring in some knee knockers. So working those outside thighs, squeezing those muscles. And four, three, two, one. Here we go, work it out. Good, keep that going. Nice work. Excellent job, guys. Okay. 15 seconds, keep it going. Nice, good job. All right, so two foot or two foot taps to the front. So either this is your low impact movement or you've got your high impact movement. You got the jumping in there, get ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, so get those toes out right in front. Do like a little point, stretching out the front of those shins. Good. Nice work. All right. So 13 seconds. Almost there. Then we're going to do some skaters coming up next. Okay, four, three, two. Okay, so skater side to side. We've got the leap. Or you can do it stepping. So we get a big step side to side, get those arms in there, swish them side to side. Push it out, nice and strong, good. All right. Good, nice work, that's it. Pump it out nice and strong, 14 seconds, keep it going. Work, work, work. Looking good. All right, let's bring it into some high knees. We've got high knees, high impact. And we've got high knees, low impact. Get ready, here we go. All right, last set. Last set. Good job, guys. Let's keep it going. Good work. 
Nine seconds left. Don't give up. Keep it going nice and strong. Go, go, go. Three, two, one. All right, good work. Okay, so let's grab a quick drink. Rest up, let that heart rate come down a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna change it up a little bit here. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch over to another timer that I need for this particular workout. So it will sound different. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now the timer will sound a little bit different in the background. So I'll just cue you for the first little bit so that you get used to the, um, the different noise. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do eight exercises. You're gonna be doing uh, four cardios. The cardio is going to be just purely high knees. And then in between those cardios, we're doing 45 seconds of legs and it's gonna be mainly lunges. So. For this component, you can use your dumbbells as your strengthening component. And then for your cardio part, it's just gonna be 20 seconds of work. So it's gonna be like 20, rest, 45, rest, 20. So it's gonna be like in that sequence. Okay, so for the first exercise, we're gonna be doing the high knees to start. That will be 20 seconds. Uh, oh, sorry, no, uh, back it up. We're gonna start with the, the lunges first. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take your dumbbells, holding them at the sides, and we're gonna do lunging forward and back, okay? So alternating. So grab your weights if you like to do that. Okay, let me just double check to make sure that this is set up properly. Good, okay, so we should be good. It'll give us a 10 second countdown on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna start that now. So it's counting down. All right, so we got five, four, three, two, one, here we go. So stepping forward and back, we're doing those lunges, 45 seconds of work. Then we're gonna rest for 15 seconds and then we'll cardio for 20 seconds. Okay, so keeping that going nice and strong guys, pump that out, I'll give you the cue at the end here. All right, so we're at 23 seconds already, counting down, looking good. All right, so just taking your time on your, on your strength component. There's no rush for it. You're just doing what you can. You're doing good quality movements. So we get nine seconds left. Then we're gonna rest for 15. In four, three, two, one. Okay, resting 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go into those high knees. Now just remember, we have those options. We've got those high knees that look like this. You can also do the two-way march. Okay, get ready. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pump out those high knees. So any style. Oh, looks like my, uh, <laughs> looks like you're going to be doing 45 seconds of work on that one. All right, my timer didn't set correctly. Oh, extra work. I'm sorry. Extra work. All right, so just keep it going. Just pump it out. Do you can. Nice and strong. It was only supposed to set you for 20 seconds. All right, keep it going. And we're gonna rest for 15. All right, so let's keep it going, working it out, 10 seconds. Almost there now, five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, resting 15, and then we're gonna go back to the lunges. So this time, we're gonna go stepping to the side, coming to center, and then stepping to the other side. So we'll start at five, Four, three, two, and start. Here we go, side to side. Oh, wow, this is really screwing me up now. The timer's all over the map. This is really good. This is awesome. So we have 20 seconds of work. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, resting for 15 seconds. And then we're going to go back to the cardio part. So in eight seconds, good, I can just try it on you guys, right? 
Okay, so back to 45 seconds of work. So we got the uh, high knees. All right, push it out nice and strong. Got that extra cardio in there. All right, so we're right at the halfway mark. So we've got uh, four sets left. So driving it out nice and strong. Remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. All right, 20 seconds left on the clock. Just keep it going, push it out. And then the next one we're gonna do is curtsy lunges coming up. You can use your dumbbells, taking your time. 10 seconds, almost there. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so rest 15. And then we're gonna do curtsy side to side. Curtsy side to side. So coming up in eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so here we go. 20 seconds of work, curtsy lunge. Side to side, use your dumbbells if you like. All right, pumping that out. Eight seconds left. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest for 15 seconds. And then we're back to our cardio part. So we're doing the 45 seconds of, of cardio. <laughs> Four, three, two, and here we go. Pump it out, high knees, nice and strong. All right, taking your time. So you can do a little bit of fast, a little bit of slow, or all slow. Good. All right, working it out. Almost there, guys. Just keep it going. Stay focused. Coming up next, we're going to be doing some uh, lunges in the reverse. All right. So keep it going. You have uh, 14 seconds. Pump it out. Pump it out. Don't give up. Eight seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest for 15 seconds. And then we're gonna do reverse lunge, reverse lunge. So again, using your dumbbells for that 20 seconds of work. Gotta make that count now. <laughs> so get ready. Okay, here we go, stepping back, doing that reverse lunge. All right, so let's keep that going nice and strong. And then after this one, we have one more set that's going to be 45 seconds of cardio. It's totally screwed that all up for you. All right, so rest 15 seconds, and then we're going back to those high knees again. And then if you like, you can do that two-way march one. Okay, you can also do the hop in there. Okay, if you can coordinate that, you can try that. Okay, here we go. Let's pump it out nice and strong. Last set. Just give it all you got there. Good, nice work. Keep it up guys, good job. Good. Good, nice work, yeah, good, good, perfect. All right. So we got 22 seconds left. Killer cardio, what a bugger. That was supposed to be strength. That's all right, we got lots of other goodies to do. <laughs> all right, 10 seconds left. Almost there now, push, 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 don't give it up, don't give it up. Four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, good job. Okay, so let's rest it up. All right. Okay. Okay, so let's let that heart rate come down. Then we're gonna move on. So we're gonna move into another leg exercise. So this one, what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna be timing this exercise. I'm gonna be focusing on more of the reps and you can definitely add in your weights for this because this is strength. Um, so just gonna grab a weight here. Um, so I grabbed one lighter weight because you're definitely gonna need a little bit of a lighter weight. Um, and then one little bit of a heavier weight. Um, so, cause we're gonna be doing bridges on the mat. Okay, so again, for this one, now what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing three sets total of this round. 
So uh, there's one unilateral and one regular. So I'll be counting the reps. So we'll be working with my, um, my count. But on the first exercise, we're gonna be doing bridges. So you're gonna be resting the dumbbell just between the hip bones here. And then we're gonna lift up, pushing through the heels of the feet, try to bring those toes off the mat to really engage the part just below the buttocks and above the insertion of the hamstring. Okay, so we're gonna aim for 20 repetitions. So let's get into position and we'll go with my count. Okay, so starting in five, four, three, two, one, and lift it up. So we've got one aiming for 20. And just remember to squeeze the glutes. So don't hyperextend the back. Two, three, breathing out, four, five, six, seven. So again, just nice and controlled. Eight, <clears throat> nine. 10, now halfway, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Okay, good. So let's rest and then we're gonna come on up to the feet. So I'm gonna show you how to do the shrimp squat. So now you can add a little weight on this one. What I mean by little, just like a lower type of weight. So we're gonna work with one foot. So you're gonna plant that one foot. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna counterbalance between the back foot and the front of the body. So I'm just going to give the demo first from the side and then I'll give it from the front. So as you squat into that stationary leg, the back leg comes back, but it doesn't come to a full extension. So you're keeping the knee bent and then the arm counterbalances by just extending the arms out in front. So just to give you the frontal view of that, you're squatting into that one leg just a little bit, um, counterbalancing with that back leg and then at the same time extending that dumbbell out in front. Okay, so you don't need to come into um, or try to come into a deep squat. It's just like a little mini squat with that one leg. Okay, so let's give that a try, get into position. We're gonna aim for 15 reps. I'm just gonna come over here and spy on you to make sure that it's all good. So we'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go for one, good. Two, yeah, good, you guys got it actually, that's good. Three, good, perfect. Four, so slow and controlled, that's it. Five, good, good. Six, yeah, those are perfect. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, three more on this one and then we'll switch feet. One, two, and three. Okay, change sides. Okay, good work. I spied, they look great. Okay, so here we go, changing it over, squatting down, pressing out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, getting there nice and strong, 10, five more, one, two, Three, four, last one, and five. All right, guys, nice work. Let's just take 30 seconds on the clock to shake it out and rest. Grab yourselves a drink.
And then let's get back down onto the mat. We're gonna do set number two, set number two. But great job on that, the shrimp squat. That was awesome work. Okay, so 15 seconds left. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Digging those heels in, squeeze that butt for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're aiming for twenty, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Almost there, guys. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Last one. You guys got this big squeeze. And twenty. All right, good job. Okay, so let's bring it right back up to the feet. We're gonna go right into those shrimp squats. Okay, so planting the one foot. All right, and then let's get ready. We'll start in five, four, three, two. One, here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, aiming for five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one here, and 15. Okay, change feet. All right, really planting that foot, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, press it out, bring it up. That's it, two, big squeeze, three, looking good guys, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, five more left here. Stay focused. One, two, three, four. Last one. And five. All right. Good work, guys. Okay, so let's take 30 seconds on the clock, shake it out a little bit, and then we got one more round. So nice job. <clears throat> so yeah, one more set of those bridges. Okay, so we'll start in 10 seconds. <clears throat> okay, so digging those heels in, we'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Nice big lift up. We got one. Squeeze it out, two. Three, squeeze those butt cheeks, don't hyper send the back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, aiming for halfway, eleven. 12, let's keep it going nice and strong. 13, 14, 15, 
16, <clears throat> 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, good work, guys. So let's bring it right back up to the feet. Let's finish off nice and strong with our shrimp squats, 15 on each side. All right, so let's start off in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, bending into that knee. Two, three, four, five. Looking good, guys. Keep it going. Six, seven. Nice work. Eight, nine. Good. Bending right into that knee. Ten for five more. One. Good, good. Two. Good job. Three. Four, last one, and five. Okay, change it over to the other side, switching feet. We'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, one, drive it out, good. Two, nice and strong, that's it, keep it going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, 10, 11, 12, three more, we got this one, push it out nice and strong, two, last one, and three, all right, good job guys, nice work, that's three sets down. So let's grab a quick drink, rest up, and then we're gonna boogie on into our next new round. I promise I won't screw up the timer on this one. All right. Okay. Okay, so back to the old timer. So we're gonna use uh we're gonna use our old timer to work with here. Okay, so we're gonna pump out um 18 sets on this one. Basically, I'm setting it up in a little bit of a different structure now. What we're going to do here, um, <clears throat> we're going to keep it at around 40 seconds of work. And uh, we're going to do two sets of the same exercise back to back before we move on to the next exercise. Okay, so for instance, we've got rear delt as the rear delt fly is the first exercise. So we're going to do that twice uh, in a row and then and then move on. Okay, so We'll do that series of, of training um, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to bring you right up to that 40 seconds of work here. So taking your time, this is strength. Um, don't have to rush through the movements at all. So if you can only do, you know, like 10 repetitions in that 40 seconds, that's fine. If you can do 15, that's fine too. So the first uh, exercise we're going to do, we're taking those dumbbells and we're flying them out to the sides. Okay, so for 40 seconds of work on that. All right, so let's get into position. So we're gonna start at four, three, two, one. Here we go, let's pump that out. So just again, focusing on the quality of your movement. Don't worry about rushing it. So taking the strength component. Yes, good. Perfect, that looks good, guys. Nice work. Excellent. So let's keep that going. Okay, 19 seconds left, counting down, we're almost there. So we'll rest for 15 seconds and then we'll repeat that same exercise. So almost there now, pumping that out nice and strong for five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay, rest. So we have 15 seconds on the clock and then you're gonna repeat that. So if you need to adjust the weights, go ahead and adjust your weight. So starting in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so here we go, we're pumping that out. Now, if you need to move it down to alternating side to side, you can do that too. If you're getting a little bit on the tired side, you can do one and then change it over to number two on the other side. And it's a good thing about the, um, the counters on the clock. We don't have to worry about keeping up with a repetition range or um, sort of tempo for that matter. 
Okay, so 15 seconds left. So working it out nice and strong. Last nine. And five, four, three, two. Okay, let's rest. So take a drink there. So next exercise, we're gonna focus on shoulders. So we're gonna alternate the arms side to side. So knees are bent, abs are tight, starting in four, three, two, one. Here we go, let's pump it out nice and strong here. Big push up. All right. Okay, guys, nice work. Good, excellent. Good, perfect. Keep that up. Okay, so remember, we're going to repeat this exercise on the next set. So 18 seconds left. Let's just keep that going nice and strong. So 14. And almost there now. Breathe out as you push up. You got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest. And then we're going to repeat that. So getting ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's pump it up. A nice big squeeze. Abs are tight. Knees are bent. So nice big squeeze up. Remember to breathe. Don't hold the breath. Okay, so just a heads up. The next exercise coming up, we're going to be doing some bicep curls. So we can do any style of bicep curl that you want because you're on a timer, right? So we can do alternating side to side. We can do palms facing in. We can do alternating palms facing in. So any style, just keep that in mind, which style that you like to work with. Eight seconds. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. All right, rest 15. So we're gonna bring that into biceps. So any style of bicep curl that you wanna do, you can even do palms facing down. Like this is hard. So you have to lower your weight to so probably like around a five pounds for you guys. Okay, so let's get ready. So here we go. Let's pump it up nice and strong. So again, picking a good one there to try. Good, perfect. Nice, good job, guys. Okay. Okay, then maybe on the next set, maybe choose a different uh, a different hand grip. Try something different. So 20 seconds of work on this left. Working it out nice and strong. All right. You guys are doing great. Good form. Knees are soft. Abs are tight. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Rest 15. Maybe changing it up a little bit if you like. If not, stick to the same thing. That's fine too. All right. So starting in the five, four, three, two, and begin. Here we go. Pump it up. Nice and strong. Here we go. Okay. Okay, and then just a heads up, coming up after this one, we're going to be doing some kickbacks. Good. Nice work. Yeah, good. All right. Good job, guys. Okay, so... We're going to be doing bent over kickbacks. You can also do this one seated as well. So seated or standing. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Okay, resting. And then we're coming into that bent over position or seated bent over. And we're going to do double arm kickback. Or you can alternate as well, one at a time. Okay, so starting in three, two, one, here we go, let's pump it out. Now just make sure that those elbows are tucked securely into the sides. Good, yes, perfect. Good, form looks awesome, nice job. All right. Okay, so let's keep that going nice and strong. So we got uh, 20 seconds on the clock. So we're gonna repeat that one back to back. All right. So let's keep that going. Remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. Almost there now. Okay, five, four, three, two. Okay, rest, and then repeat that. Maybe change it up a little bit. If you want, you can also do that 
arm extension and then push the palm up towards the sky at the last second of the rotation and then bring it in again. So this is a nice one too, I like this one. Okay, so you can try that for something different. I'll just do a little check there. Yeah, good. Yeah, you got it, good. Good, perfect. Good, keep it going, nice and controlled. Slow it down a little bit. Good, take your time on your movements. All right, 20 seconds left on the clock here. Working that out nice and strong. All right, then we have a sneaky cardio movement coming up next. We're gonna be doing some switch jumps with some jumping jack combos. Okay, so four, three, two, one. Okay, so switch jumps look like this. We're gonna do four of them, and then you're gonna do four jacks. So four and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's give that a try. So that's a back-to-back -back movement. Good, so four and four. Yeah, good. Perfect, yes, you got it, good work. Okay, so 28 seconds, working that out nice and strong. So we got that one back to back. So pump that out, pace yourself a little bit. All right, so 15 seconds, you guys got this. Push through it, modify if you have to. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest, and then we're gonna repeat that one. So if you need to modify your jumping jacks, you can do that without the jumping movements. And then if you need to modify the switch jumps, you just take the jump out. Most of the time it's just taking jumps out of movements. Okay, get ready. Okay, here we go, pump it out. All right. Nice, good job, yeah. Good work, guys. Okay, so just a heads up coming up next, we're gonna be doing squats with glute kicks next. Okay. All right, 15 seconds left. Give it all you got, pound it out nice and strong, guys. Don't give up, keep it going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. Okay, rest. So we're gonna squat down. Kick it back, one, two, squat down, kick it back, one, two. So get ready. All right, here we go, pump it out. So nice and strong. Good. Excellent, yes, nice, good. Okay, so just remember guys, don't bend at the knee when you kick it back. Swing from the, the hip joint here, keeping the knee straight so that you can focus on the glute. Good, yes. Good, nice work. Squeeze that butt, good. Excellent, much better, good job. Four, three, two, good. And then let's rest for 15 and then we'll repeat that one one more time. So starting in seven seconds, five, four, three, two, and start. Here we go. Okay, so heads up for the next one, we're gonna be doing clamshells. So if you have your, uh, your thigh bands, you're more than welcome to use those on this next round. So we're gonna be doing that one back to back. So we'll leave that band on for a few times there. Okay, so keep it going nice and strong, guys. Pump that out. Really squeeze that glute, but don't hyperextend the back. Okay, so 12 seconds left. <clears throat> Three, two. All right, so laying on our side for clamshell. Here we have the regular clamshell. If you want to make it harder, you can lift the hips. Open the knees or, and lower yourself back down. Get ready. And then the third option here, you can hold yourself up in that uh, supported side plank and just do clamshell at the top here. So that's your third option as well on that one. 
Okay, so pump that out. I'm just gonna come over and have a look there. So just making sure that the top hip is stacked right on top of the, the bottom hip. Yep, good, Susan, good. Okay, yeah, good, perfect, Allison, nice. Good, excellent. Okay, good job. Bring that band just right above the knees helps too. Okay, so five seconds. Okay, so changing it over to the other side again, you can just do the regular ones here on the floor. You can also do the plank lift or hold at the top for plank. So three different movements there. Okay, here we go, pump it out. Okay, work, work, work. And then after this one, just a heads up, we have four sets left. So we're almost done. We're almost done. So keep it going nice and strong. Pump it out, do the best you can. All right. 14 seconds. All right. Four, three, two, one. Okay, rest and then change over to the other side. So we're gonna finish up with those clamshells. One more on each side. So keep your band on. Yeah, okay, good. Get ready. Okay. Okay, here we go. Pump it out. Second set. Good. Yes. Good. Perfect. Good. Nice work, guys. Let's keep it going. <clears throat> 20 seconds left on the clock here. Ten seconds. All right. Good. Keep it going. Okay. All right. Change it over to the other side. Change it over to the other side. So we're getting down there, guys. Getting down there. Okay. So five, four, three, two, and begin here. Okay. So last set on clamshell. And then after this, we have one more exercise. And then we get to cool it down after this, after the, the last exercise. You guys did awesome today. You did a lot of stuff today. Good. Pump that out nice and strong. Looks good, guys. Keep it going. All right. So 13 seconds left. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a one dumbbell shoulder press, lean back for abs and then press the dumbbell away. Come back up, press, lean back, press away. Get ready. Okay, here we go, pump it out. Okay, so you got arms, you got shoulders, you have core in there, lower back. All right, good, yes, perfect. Nice job, guys. Excellent, okay. Okay, so 15 seconds left, then we'll rest, we'll repeat, and then we'll stretch. Nine seconds, keep it going, guys, looks good, you guys are doing amazing. Five, four, three, two, and rest, okay, then we got one more, one more set, getting ready, five, four, three, two, one, pump it out, here we go, so nice big press up, then lean back and press away, so really working those abs there, keep that going, we're almost there, guys. And then we're going to stretch it out. Looking good. That's it. Nice big press away with that dumbbell. Good. Use those abs. Good. Excellent. Good. Looking good. Keep it up. Five, four, three, 
two, and woo! Good job, guys. That was like 18 sets. So nice work. 40 seconds of work, 10, 15 seconds of rest. Good job. So let's stay in that seated position. If you need to, grab your drink. I'm going to start this off on our stretches. So let's fold forward. Let's place those palms wherever they land, rounding out the back a little bit, looking down at your knees. Good job, guys. So breathe here, inhale, exhale. Okay. All right, so we'll just, uh, we'll walk it back. And then laying on your side, we're gonna stretch out the quadriceps. So let's draw the heel in towards the glute. And just breathing here, so don't hold your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, and then we'll switch it over to the other side. <clears throat> so drawing that heel in, stretching the front of that quadricep. And just remember to breathe here, don't hold the breath, so nice and easy. Okay, so let's release that. Then we're gonna lay on your back, cross the left leg right over the right leg as if you're sitting in a cross-legged seated position. Draw both the knees into the chest, take the palms, rest them on the shins, pull gently down on your shins, stretching the left glute. So make sure the head is relaxed, the cervical spine is in neutral position, draw the chin in towards the chest and breathe. All right, so lower the feet down, uncross the legs, switch it over to the other side. And then maybe this time take a few rock and rolls side to side. All right. Okay, so bringing that right back to center, we're gonna sit up. All right, so let's draw the soles of the feet together. Leave a little bit of space between uh, the inside thighs and the heels of the feet. Take the palms, I want you to wrap them around the ankles and then we'll slowly just gently pull forward and then we'll just gently release and then pulling forward and then gently release and then just breathing out. And then back in again, and breathing out, and then in again. Okay, so coming just into a comfortable seated position. So that could be kneeling, that could be seated, cross-legged, that could be legs out in front. So take a nice big reach up, and then reach to the left, and then to the right. Back to the left. Make sure you breathe, don't hold the breath when you're doing the stretches. And then over to the other side. Okay, so come on, right back up, big stretch. And then lower the arms in front, drop the chin to the chest, open up your shoulders in the posterior position and the cervical spine. And then we'll inhale, lift up. And exhale, down again. <sighs> breathe the air out. Again, inhale, lift up, and exhale out. All right, and then inhale, lift the arms all the way up, then release them down. And I want you to interlock the fingers just behind the back, so draw the shoulder blades together. So you're just opening up the chest here. And then we'll roll it forward again here. And then back again, opening up that chest. And then folding forward again one more time. Good, okay, and then bringing it to the front here, we're just gonna stretch out the wrist for a moment. And then on the other side. 
And then just take a few uh, wrist rotations. We did a lot of gripping of the weights today. And then in the other direction. All right, guys, nice work today. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the workout. Lots of uh, little weight training uh, fun in there and some crazy cardio in the beginning. So thanks. Yeah, you're thanks, welcome. Lisa. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. Have a good weekend. I'll see you, all you. tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye.